I want you guys to be able to see the difference from the original footage and to what I'm doing with the thermal right now. It is so bizarre. And when you see this, it's gonna drop your guys' jaw. It's unbelievable. I have to upload these separately. But just unbelievable, you guys. It's the craziest thing. I don't know how to explain this, but Obama's forehead on the center, it always has this figure. And even as I'm recording with the thermal right now separately, pay attention to everybody in here, especially Obama, and look at the people. And you're going to see so much differences of everybody. And like I said, you guys, thermal picks up what we can't visually see. And when you see this, you're going to be so stunned. You're going to be like, no freaking way. Some people, it creeped them out, believe it or not. But when you look in the audience, you'll see just the weirdest abnormal things on these people that just don't look right at all. So as I'm recording this right now, the original footage, and recording the thermal at the same time, so you're gonna hear me talking the same thing as I'm doing the both recordings at the same, but pay attention to the differences. This figure on Obama's forehead, the front of his face, never changes. And then when you look at the crowd, you notice some of these people in here bring a very eerie, creepy figure. And it really makes you wonder because I've tried not just on actresses and other people, but none of the other people detected what I'm detecting here right now. And so I wanted to bring this back on you on my YouTube and also here to you, all my friends on Facebook. Nobody has done this that I know of. I guess I'm the only one. And I just don't get how some people show a normal figure, but then many of them look like a freaking alien slash some type of monster creature. I mean, when you're watching this thermal, you'll see what I mean. And you're going to see so many differences throughout the crowd in there. It's just going to blow your guys' mind. So I'm going to run this for a few more minutes. Let this play just so you can get really good view of this. And it's just mind boggling. So we're just going to sit here and listen for a quick minute. As I'm recording this, like I said, you guys, I'm doing both. I'm recording actual footage that you're seeing here. And I'm recording this thermal. So I'll be doing two separate uploads. And watch them both. And you tell me. Because like I said, cameras don't lie. Thermal vision don't lie. And especially infrared. Scott and uh, Cory Gardner. Uh, they're in the house, which reminds me. Security, bar the doors. Judge Merrick Garland, come on out. We're going to do this right here, right now. Now, on this thermal here, as I'm recording, you guys, look at the people in the background as everybody is basically putting out a very odd figure. But it's not just Congress. And I did this, this was an accident. 
And I was like, no freaking way. I was just screwing around. I was like, oh, let me just put this on here and see what happens. And I was so shocked. And it's like, there's no way. But then, like I said, when I try to do every different kind of changes, adjustments on this thermal app, because a couple people detected nothing. But these people actually here in the crowd as well certainly show a complete different figure. And on Obama's photos, not just here at the correspondence meeting, you guys, but on Obama's photos, any photo, it doesn't matter. This thing on his forehead never changes always the same and even on the videos like you're seeing here now and as you see his face you look at his forehead you can see what I'm talking about clearly and it's just mind blowing but when you look in the crowd you see things that really just don't look right Just wanted to bring this back to you guys and a lot of my Facebook friends since I've been on here bringing my content to all you guys and everything else I thought I'd go ahead and do this again to show you something that none of you I guarantee it none of you have seen anything like this so when you see this thermal you're Definitely, you'll be going back and forth to the original footage, and then you'll be going to this thermal, and you're gonna be like, no freaking way. Very interesting, and it just makes you wonder, you guys. It really does. Just things are not right. Like I said, you just don't know who is who, and there was a uh, one person that came on the ins he was deep on the inside of the government and he mentioned he made a statement before he died and he goes not all of those in the government are human they're just using a cover so they don't reveal what's inside and but because of cameras Thermal vision and all this good stuff. Cameras always detect entities and just abnormal things. So, as I'm recording this right now, it's even blown me away again because it's like I'm picking up the exact same thing when I even first did the first recording of this correspondence meeting. And the people in this crowd in the background, they really pull off a very eerie, just, I can't call it a disguise, just some, something's just not right. I mean, how come it's picking up so much difference of everybody? I mean, ridiculous. Also known as one of the two black guys who's not John Stewart. You're the South African guy, right? Now I'm waiting to see this lady who was sitting in the crowd. She was an older lady. She's dressed up. I'm trying to pay attention here. And I'm gonna pause, and I'll point her out and compare the normalism of how she looked. She was nicely dressed, but the thermal, she looked like she was like a dang grim reaper in a cape. I'm not kidding. And I'll remember her just by looking, because she was an older lady. I'm just joking. As you know, Spotlight is a film, a movie, about investigative journalists with the resources and the autonomy 
chase down the truth and hold the powerful accountable. And see, no matter what adjustments I do on the thermal, nothing's changing on Obama's face. He's still showing the same figure on his forehead, along his cheekbone, his chin, and around his neck area. No matter what changes I do, adjusting the thermal, everything's the same, and it's just freaking ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. The things of what thermal and infrared, night vision, and all this crazy stuff can detect. Actually, I'm going to pause it real quick. Now, what am I looking at? This guy here. Let me see here. Right where my finger's at, and you're going to see me pointing at him in thermal view. Now, on this original footage, he looks very, very normal. But... When you're watching this thermal, you completely see something completely different and really just does not look right. So as this video is paused, I'm right now just zooming around with the thermal. And just so I can show you guys a little bit of everybody in the crowd, and you'll see how different of what each person in here is revealing. I mean, it is freaking ridiculous, you guys. And I try to debunk it, but many other people outside, like I was mentioning, actresses, singers, all showed no changes. They didn't show anything at all whatsoever of what you're looking at when you watch the thermal video of this too. And it's just shocking because you're like, there's no way. And I'm pulling up the exact same thing. This video is from another YouTube channel, but it's still the same White House Correspondents Meeting and same figures, no changes. It is eerie. And that guy pointed to you. Just eerie, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not right. And when you see this, you're going to be like, no freaking way. So I wanted to just make, I don't want to make this too long, but just to show you. And you think about it yourself. And let me know what you all think about the comparison because I know none of you have seen any of this I looked all over YouTube and I guess I was just the only one who just happened to come up with this one day and I was like just screwing around and I got stuck on it I was like holy crap I'm like no way it can't be so now let's continue on and that guy I pointed at just does not look right. And we can see Obama's face. No changes. Congratulations on all your success. The Republican Party, the nomination process, it's all going great. Keep it up. also here and we had a chance to meet her uh, backstage she seems like a, a very nice young woman I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna forward said. the original uh, footage a little bit just kind of like skip through I don't even have a joke here I just think Helen Mirren is awesome <laughs> an entirely fair comparison between you and the Donald after all Mike was a big city and when I compare it to the photos, pictures, just pictures, the exact same thing. So not just on this footage, but on Obama's actual pictures. I mean, I literally try to debunk this, you guys. I try to like 
really like make it like there's no way it's impossible but it shows what it's showing and you cannot at all whatsoever literally fake any of this hopefully it pops up the gentleman he was speaking to Yourself a little from me. You gotta admit it, though. And again, you guys, I'm doing two separate recordings. So when you watch, as you're watching the original one, compare it to this thermal vision. And pay attention to the audience. Really look at everybody in there. And when you see the figures you're going to see, it's just going to blow your mind. You are not going to even look at any of these people the same. trying to keep my eye out for this lady that was in here. She was an older lady, probably like in her 60s. And that one was like the most freakiest one because she looked like the damn Grim Reaper. So I should have paused it right there. Although I am a little hurt that he's not here tonight. We had so much fun the last time. And it is surprising. We got a room full of reporters, celebrities, cameras, and he says no. Is this bitter too tacky for the doll? What could he possibly be doing? So like I say, friends, you think about it in your own opinion, and I would love to hear what each and every single one of you have to say after you watch this thermal vision part of it as well. And there's one area where Donald's experience could be invaluable, and that's closing the Guantanamo. Because Trump knows a thing or two about running water. <laughs> I hope y'all are proud of yourself. The guy wanted to give his hotel business a boost. And now we're praying that Cleveland makes it through July. See for a couple more years. Thank you. Take a look. Take a look. I'm trying to find that one older lady. She's in there somewhere. Hello. Now, for example, here. No? No. Did you get a lot of these? Honey, I'm not. Are you sure? Yeah, you got that. Second, get. And I can wear my mom jeans this piece. I hate these. 
I didn't want to like record all of this full like 31 minutes of it. That's why I'm skipping through. But it shows enough for all of you out there. It's just bizarre. Really mind blowing. It makes you really wonder. Now this guy here. He's not really showing anything at all. Nothing abnormal, no matter what I do to change the thermal vision. Of course, you see his glasses kind of change around, but that's because of his glasses. But facial-wise, he ain't showing nothing, you guys. And this is what I was comparing on, but continuing on. I don't know why I haven't found that lady. Now, this is not the exact full White House correspondence meeting, so she could be on the other half of the video because he did like a two hour whole deal, and this is just 30 minutes of it. So, but you're seeing enough, you're, you're, you're seeing where I'm coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, you guys. I think this showed plenty. So again, much love to everybody out there. Thank you, all my Facebook friends. I really, really highly appreciate all of you guys. You guys are really awesome. And big love to all of you. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to upload the original footage first. And then I'll be uploading this crazy thermal vision right after. So you let me know what you